Touchdown to Des Bryant. It's a first touchdown reception by the first year wide receiver Des Bryant. What's happening, YouTube family? We're back in here with another video covering the LeVar Ball, Molly Caram situation. And this time, former Pro Bowl Dallas Cowboys standout Des Bryant has decided he wants to weigh in on the scene and we're gonna talk about his comments, but first. On this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, because we're working on skilling that craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, helping you make those life gains. Please subscribe to this channel. Check out the link in my video description if you like old school wrestling t-shirts. It says old school wrestling t-shirts. So Daz Bryant has decided he wanted to speak out on this issue. And here's what he had to say in a recent tweet. At Molly, I'm late, but I just seen the ESPN video of you and LeVar Ball. Just being real, you owe that man an apology, straight up. I didn't even sense foul play from him. You dramatically overreacted. Mature women like Doris Burke need those jobs. And you know who else he should have said overreacted? Stephen A. Smith. As I jump down there and I read the comments from the video I did, and the link is right here, you know, some of y'all starting to push the envelope a little too far into getting into male misogyny. But some of y'all down there sounding like y'all been butt hurt and had your feelings hurt by some women. All right. Yes, this situation, Molly, was totally wrong. Stephen A was wrong. ESPN was wrong. You can't form to assume this man's intent when he made the comment. If you look at his facial expression, his body language, there was nothing that LeVar Ball said or did that insinuated flirting. Man, and let's continue. And by the way, Doris Burke is a great, great analyst on ESPN. I do like Doris Burke, so I'll give Daz Bryant credit on that one. He also goes on to say, I'm saying more women who know their stuff and smart enough to know every man don't want them. But damn, he's saying something y'all been saying in the comments that when women assume, like Molly assume, they're thinking everybody's sweating them. He goes on to say, it's a job. She's out of line. I don't see anything sexual about what he said. That's Daz Bryant, and that's his opinion. And y'all know Daz Bryant has been outspoken on a lot of issues. He was outspoken when Colin Kaepernick was taking knees. He's been outspoken about other stars like Chris Carter. He's just outspoken dude. He gonna speak his mind. And I think most people are siding with me, Daz, and a lot of women are coming out saying they don't see it. So for me, I go to the person that was accosted. So I go ask women to make sure I'm not out of pocket. And most women, like I said, that have been 35 plus have said they didn't see anything wrong. And the women that look at the video said they didn't see his body language saying that he was flirting. You know, they say when men are flirting with them, they can kind of see the jolliness, the gesturing, the posturing. You can tell. And they couldn't tell anything based on that video. So. And a lot of y'all are sick and tired of Molly, so you got to take that into consideration. Some of y'all just already got it in for Molly. Y'all don't feel like she's a great sports personality. Some of y'all don't know about her sports history. And then at times, I will agree with this, she does interject in the conversation when she doesn't need to be instead of just being a moderator. You know, she jumps in there, she shuts people up, and she does that kind of thing instead of moderating the conversation. So I think a lot of hate is coming toward Molly for that. However, this situation, I remain patent as along with other superstars coming out, dropping their lines on the situation that, if anything, Molly owes LeVar Ball an apology, and some of y'all want to see Molly Caram gone. So leave me comments about what you think about Dez Bryant furthering this conversation. Can we get some more women coming and speaking their truths on this situation? Let me know. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. I guess I'll follow this story to see who else is going to come out and say something about it because it's starting to get interesting. This shit is heating up. 
And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.